Hello everybody, it's the interview queen, Alicia Achute here, and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to my interview with Anthony from Capstan. Hello. Hi, how's it going? It's going really well. How are you over there? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's a little hot today, but we're, is it? we're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> the opposite here. I'm in Canada, and of course, sticking to Canadian themes, it's like weirdly windy and chilly today, so it's a little bit different. I'll take, I'd take yeah. that. <laughs> I would take, I would take what you have right now. <laughs> All right, so we got to do a swap at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's such an exciting time to be the band because your new album, Separate, is officially out in the world. So were there any nerves kind of going into releasing the record or was it just sheer excitement at this point? Um, it, it was a bit of both. So extremely exciting. But um, when you release five singles, you're like, OK, you get you kind of get like a huge uh, idea of if people are going to like the record or not so i'm like i hope they like the other five songs you know because like half of the record was released before you know release day but um the ones that aren't singles i think as well were were some of my favorites so yeah, was happy I mean, to get it out so a little bit of both nerves <laughs> nerves and you know i mean now that it has been out and a little time has passed since the record dropped what's kind of running through your mind after seeing the incredible response not only to those five singles but the following 10 that were dropped because whenever i'm looking you guys up or just looking into things like people have nothing but sweet things to say about this release i know it's it's a uh, it's a very calming feeling because you know we've been sitting on these songs for so long you listen to them and you're like i don't even know if these are good anymore like are these good you know and then you put them out and uh, it's just nice to see uh, people responding to it well because that's what we wanted you know we wanted to give an right. emotional drive to for people to you know get through things and and just enjoy music one of the songs that i've been enjoying a lot lately happens to be alone that was just an absolute banger it features silverstein shane told so how psyched was the band when you actually locked down shane for the song and even more so when you actually heard how the collaboration ended up being um we were extremely excited um i think in uh, a write-up that we we did um we we said that uh, our 16 year old selves would be shitting themselves because <laughs> we got him on we got him on the on the record um i love that but uh no it was a great excitement uh, just with them taking us out on tour before um we just we had a, a really great experience they've always been behind capstan and um, i was just really happy he was able to do it um, and then when we heard it, we were just like, this, this mesh meshes perfectly. Mm -hmm. And then even on top of that, he was, he was willing to be in the video. So, um, for him to shoot that on his own and send it to us and us get to mesh that together was, uh, also another amazing thing that he had done for the band. So I, I can't imagine looking up to somebody and then that high of everything coming through and more. I mean, I, I've been in that position where it's like a dream to work with someone then it finally happens and you have to pinch yourself because it's something you've wanted for so long. So congratulations. Right. That must have been incredible. No, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. It is a pinching moment. Like, hey. <laughs> Now, I actually have a fan question, and it's from a Shane in Canada, but I'm not really sure who this is at, at all. But his question is, what was it like to perform with Silverstein every night on their When Broken is Easily Fixed tour? And were you absolutely bone aw blown away by their lead singer's extreme sexiness on display right in front of you? Like, what a question coming in hot from Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I had an awesome time uh watching them every night and i think the coolest part being able to go out on stage with them is to see the crowd in full effect like we played to the biggest crowds we've ever played to opening this opening the uh the show but me going out there and just seeing the crowd going wild for shane um and the, and the rest of the band it was uh it was pretty incredible an incredible thing <laughs> when I found out that uh, I locked down the interview with you guys, instantly I had to text Shane because he's one of our mutual friends. So I was like, hey, oh, good. I was like, buddy, do you have any questions that I can ask Anthony? And then here another <laughs> one. <laughs> so that was the Shane in Canada. But uh, the other question he actually had for you guys was um, to ask seriously about the tour and if it was kind of hard to get the energy to come on stage every night with them and scream your head off every single time. <laughs> Uh, well, to be honest, they, 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 that was something they had asked me to do um, for the, from the start of the tour, and I was so nervous, I couldn't do it for the first three nights. So um, as soon as I got, as soon as I went through maybe the first two, it was just like, I'm ready for this every time. So, you know, and there was enough time in between to where uh, I could, you know, just, just have some uh, time to breathe. 
I, I, it was an incredible experience all around and their whole crew even was, were just awesome. That's amazing to hear. Even you reminiscing about it, I can see it on your face. Yeah. It's just kind of bringing back those good vibes once again. <laughs> it is. And I mean, we haven't played a show in almost, what, 13 months, maybe more. I think maybe 16 months, I think, yeah, since I think we've even played 16. a show. So going back to some of the best shows that I've ever been a part of, like, it's, it's nice. I mean, fans are absolutely amazing, but I've seen some wild things at concerts over the years. So for you, uh, whether at one of your own shows or a show that you were simply at because you were a fan of the band, uh, what are some of the most bizarre, funny things that you've seen at gigs in the past? Oh my goodness. Um, it's tough. That's tough to think of just because it's been so long, but um, I guess I could go like sentimental and uh, just, when you're across the like when you're across the country and you you go out and I just go out and people are singing your lyrics like mm -hmm. you know or even overseas people are singing our songs I'm like I can't believe I'm this far from home and people are are singing words back to me um, as far as crazy just I guess stage diving has been the main thing just people running and jumping out in the crowd you know <laughs> yeah I've seen some interesting <laughs> ones sometimes those go a little sideways quite literally but hey it's all in good fun <laughs> right no the last thing I wanted to ask you today is simply if you could kind of break free right now and the world was perfectly fine who's the one band uh, that you would love to see live this very moment Ooh, that's a good question I would have to say uh just because I haven't seen them in so long um probably every time I die Okay. I would just like to watch them be, just because of their, their energy. Yeah. All right. They're a big one. Um, and yeah, I, yeah, that would probably be my, my answer right now. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably take along. I haven't seen them in two, two and a half years. So I think that'd be a dope gig. <laughs> yeah. Anthony, I want to say thank you so, so much for taking the time for hopping on here. It's been great being able to shoot the breeze with you. So I really do appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much. And I appreciate you having me. Of course, to everyone watching, this has been Anthony from Capstan. Be sure to check out alishatoot.com for more exclusive interviews and features. And we'll see you all next time, everyone. Bye. All right, bye.